Hey everybody, this is Joaquin, and this is Jay, and this is the Overflow Podcast at thisisoutcry.com. <laughs> we are here for the third episode, we made it to three. Episode three! You know, and and the, the funny thing is, is that if, if we're honest with ourselves, we're not always the most consistent people in the world. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know so, what you're talking about. So... I'm I'm thrilled that we made it to three, I, th- and I think in three, right? Isn't it three episodes and you go into syndication? Isn't that how it works in TV? You get three episodes, you get syndication. Yes, I wish it would work the same in podcasts. Yes, or is it? No, actually, in TV, it's like a hundred episodes. Well, actually, now some people don't even make the pilot. <laughs> no, no. So we've we've this is we didn't even we didn't even have a pilot. We skipped the pilot, and we went straight into production. This is true. So um, that just means we're. We're better than than some, but worse than most. Because we're friends. <laughs> See what I did there? See what yes. I did there? I'm so yeah. corny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, jerk. Anyway, but um, so uh, we're coming at you uh, on this uh, Thursday. We'll be posting this up uh, Tomorrow, on Friday. Friday. And so, uh, Jay, it's been a been a long week. How's your week been? Has it been a long week? It feels like it's been a long week. It's yeah. been like really slow, but um, it's been interesting. <laughs> it's, it has been. It it's has been. been an interesting week, it right? has been an interesting week. Um, for me, I know that my week's been. It was kind of short. Well, yesterday felt really, really long. Like Wednesday, for whatever, seemed like the longest day. Maybe because of the rain and yeah, the you know, gets you all look. gets you all feeling all kinds of down. But uh, today was a pretty good day. I mean, it's been a pretty great week. Um, the weather's been awesome. It's been chill. Tomorrow, For February. Yeah, tomorrow after work, I get. To, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go uh, dig for some records up in my record, my record shop, my favorite <laughs> record store. Maybe find a little soul music to the jam to on Saturday while I. What's it called? I always call it Fifth and Main, and I know. It's no, well, no, it. there's there's Second and Charles. That's not my second favorite. My favorite oh, one okay. is is one of, is by your house in Ackworth called Albums. Oh, okay. Shop. I didn't know that. I thought yeah, you were talking about really, really, <laughs> really fit the main. It's second and Charles, but sure. Uh, it's been really, really, really fun. Um, and uh, as uh, as fans of comic books and and comic book movies, we're almost a week away now from Deadpool. Yes. So that's uh, pretty awesome. I'm ex- super excited. I uh, for, for me, and I, maybe maybe you feel the same way. For me, Deadpool is a good in between for the movie that I'm actually right, right, right. Like highly anticipating. The one we're really, really <laughs> anticipating. <laughs> like, yes, thank you. It's called Batman v Superman. Because Deadpool will keep me a little bit entertained for when finally Batman v Superman comes out. <gasps> yes, and I'll be watching that multiple times. Um, I'm sure because I don't have children or a spouse to tell me I can't go see the movie <laughs> whenever I want. So there's yeah. that. <laughs> there's that. But uh yeah, so you know, it's been a cool week. Um it's been an interesting week on the uh, on the internet and and we're going to we're going to touch on that um it has been, you know, a little bit a very interesting week musically on on the interwebs and we're not going to get too bogged down in that uh, kind of some of the stuff just cause we we're trying to, you know, we want to make sure we keep it kind of open for everybody. Anybody that's listening, we want, we want the major, the big theme of what, of what's really going on. That's kind of what we're going right. to tackle. Exactly. You know, because we, we don't want to, all right, just to put it out there I'm not, without mentioning names or whatever. Oh, oh wait, before, the, before the, you, the segment, before you, the, the sponsor? yeah, the segment, <laughs> this uh, segment is sponsored by surge, uh, citrus flavored soda. Basically it's a, Hopped up, supercharged um, Mountain Dew. And if you were a teen in the 90s or a kid in the 90s, you remember <laughs> Surge when it came out. It is delicious. My my favorite. I don't know if my favorite. I don't know why I drink it. I know it's not good for me. I, it's probably killing me slowly. <laughs> but I I really, I really, I really like it you, you a really, lot. You really, really. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot, but, a lot. So before we get into before we get into the topic, um, I, I wanted to say, uh, so we did we did Cal's birthday Saturday, 
Oh, right, 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 right. right we had right, a lot right. of fun. It's funny, you know, for all, every single episode, we talked about Cal. Cal, because he's he's a little little man. He's, he's, he's the little mascot. He's a little Puerto Rican <laughs> in our lives. Uh, so we had we did Cal's, well, everybody, you know, for the seven people that are listening, yes, we did celebrate Cal's Yes, finally, um, birthday. it was 63 degrees outside. Oh, it was a beautiful day. But, but you want to know what's funny? It's... No one knows this. Well, after this, now people now know. six people will know. Right, the six. Well, I thought you said seven sure. just now. I think we just <laughs> lost somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and we canceled it the week was, the the day was supposed to be was two weeks ago, right? The day right after his birthday because it snowed, right? Right. So we pushed it for this past Saturday, and because the weather was going to be nicer, it's sixty three degrees. Yeah, of course, let's do that. Right. And um, a lot of people. Still didn't make it because I guess um, my this is this is just me guessing. They went outside to play in the snow and they got sick. <laughs> so we got a lot of text messages. Sorry, we're not gonna be able to come. The boys are sick and we don't want to get Cal or any other children at the party sick. Also, right, right. And I'm just like, Dude, just bring them. How can you build up their immunity system if they don't get sick? <laughs> don't get sick. Now, what I liked was the fact that you guys got one of those fancy cakes for him to smash, <laughs> and he barely touched it. He was like, I don't think I want to touch this. It's it's hilarious. He poked his finger in it, and then he ate the shield, right? He ate the Superman shield. But um, other kids that were there right. were like, oh, he's not going to smash it? We're going to smash it. Uh, you know, um, like our niece. Uh, well, Angel, our, uh, our right. friend Angel, his son, Nathan, he was like, this is how you do it. And he took a chunk. Yeah, he just took a chunk to eat it. He just, <laughs> that was just him. But Maylee, his daughter, was just, she just like obliterated it. Yes. Well, May- Maylee is, um, she's a destructor. Like, she likes to destroy <laughs> things. Destructora. She's, um, she's funny because she knows how to change the channel and stuff on the TVs and because of her, we had to watch Jerry Falwell there for a look. Not Jerry Falwell. Jerry it was Falwell. Uh, Jimmy Swaggart. Wasn't it Jimmy Swaggart? Jimmy Swaggart and his son. Yeah, for a little bit. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, changed, she changed the channel. Which is horrible, right? Because it's, I mean, my mom has been following Jimmy Swaggart since I was a kid. Right? This is a whole joke. I was saying it at the party. Like, he's my white grandpa. Because like, was, everything was Jimmy through, Swaggart. Through the scandals and everything. Through the scandals, you know. My, strange my mom is but um yeah through the scandals and all that stuff you know she forgave him you know which is what we should do right because right. you know we all sin and fall short <laughs> funny how we're touching on this yeah right yes, we all sin and fall short so even through the scandal she still supported him she would buy his um records and his teachings on right. you know well not online <laughs> there was no but, online, right, there was no online. <laughs> you know, mail. Al Gore had it had an invented it yet. yet so uh, you know but through the mail and um so now he's back on TV he's got a show on TV again or whatever so she, you know she she still watched that for me I, I swear like that that dude he did not age like he's been he's been old <laughs> like, whatever he's life. whatever elixir he's drinking right he needs to sell it. <laughs> He needs to sell. What's funny is I'll, I'll sometimes I'll be uh, I'll be digging for records like just different random places like antique malls. I'll go and then you can always find all kinds of stuff. And right. I run across Jimmy Swagger records all the time. Dude, you should buy one. And I always think of your mom. You should I'm buy like, one and give loves, it to my mom. Loves this dude, even though she won't have anything to play it on. Right? But, like think, she'll still be super appreciative. Yeah, I think I will. She might be like, I already have that one. <laughs> Oh, I had this cassette. I have that one. Yeah, like, you don't use cassettes anymore. Like, we don't use cassettes. Our records, really. So, <laughs> so, she was like, I already had that one. It was destroyed in New York. <laughs> it was destroyed in the hurricane. <laughs> stupid, stupid hurricane, Sandy. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so, you know, so we had all that. Um, church was good. But, but it was fun, dude. Like, it was fun. It was yeah, so it was much a lot fun. Of fun. There were a lot of people. The kids had a ton of fun. Um, it was really loud. We it, had some... it, it was it was it was it was a UN conference, right? Yes, so like we, a, have, we have Puerto country. Ricans, we have Polish, uh, we had black, we had white, we yeah. had uh, Brazilian. Yeah, the only one that was missing were we needed some Asians. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm gonna shout them out. Well, not shout them, put them on blast. Right. I guess both. I, right. I mean, yeah, they won't hear this. 
So it's not really going to stick. Oh, no, no. He's, he's going to hear it. Oh, he's going to hear it. Oh, yeah, he's going to hear We're it. We're going to make it. Um, <laughs> we'll send it to him just because of this. We're going to tie um, him down. You know, James Han, who's um, a Korean hip-hop artist. Very good music. Very good music. A very humble guy. Yes. Right. Um, but he didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you don't like you don't like birthday cupcakes. He, he didn't come, so you know if not, it would have been well, before that we had Cubans, but they had to leave early because um, you know they had a long drive back down to Miami. But still, oh, that's right, that's right. So it was um, it was pretty awesome. It was it was really it was I, I had I had fun. Yeah, it and was, I, I don't know my guy and yourself, you know, and then just. To have everybody together. Yeah, it was a, it was definitely a lot of fun, a lot of laughing, a lot of chopping it up about all kinds of stuff. I mean, a of, that's a lot of food. Yeah, it was, that's. I mean, that's, there was some there props. Was some, there was this is always a good spread. There was some yes, there was some good food. Um, so yeah, so it was it was pretty good. And then church Sunday was pretty good. Well, if you can recall, um, Sunday was the the meet and greet. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so ladies and gentlemen, last Sunday, uh, Jay, since he's, he started, um, he became the youth pastor at, at Vineyard Community Church. And we, I know we, we touched on how this is his first, uh, was it Vanilla Church That's or what I White it. Church, Milk vanilla, Church? I called it a Vanilla Church. Um, and so what one of the parents uh, did is they invited people to come to their house and they could meet Jay and have food and, and kind of get to meet their new youth pastor and I guess figure out if they wanted to like him or not. I, you know, it's just, Hey, this is the guy you're going to be fighting with later. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what a meet and greet is. It's like, Hey, I like you right now until I, you say something that I don't, you, I don't want to agree you with. You teach something that I don't agree with. Uh, or say something. So how did the meet and greet go? It, Pretty, pretty all right? Did I'm, I'm people not, show up? I'm not going to lie. People showed up. A lot, of, a lot of people showed up. A meet and greet, no one shows up. That's just, I would have right, quit. I would have been like, I quit. <laughs> it was a lot of, again, it was it was a, like a dessert night. So there were a lot of desserts. A lot of desserts. I should have gone. I love desserts. So many cakes and pies and, you know, people brought stuff and forget about it. It was crazy. But I'm not going to lie. I was anxious at first. Right. I remember you texted uh, me. Yeah, I texted you. And I'm then... anxious. That's, a, that's what the text message <laughs> said. <laughs> and then um, I asked the parent who put it all together. Like, I asked her for two things. I asked her for real coffee. And I said real coffee because she was serving decaf. Right. right, so she was. And of course, decaf. when you're anxious, the the thing you need is more caffeine. Yeah, you need caffeine to, to <laughs> just to amp up the anxiousness. Yeah, you know. So she was serving decaf. So I asked her for real coffee, and dude, she obliged. She went. She made. She made me a fresh pot of coffee, which was cool. So I'm drinking that. I'm calming down. I'm meditating and trying to talk to God. And right. then she came over to me, and she asked me if I was okay. I said, Yeah, you know, I'm just a bit anxious. Like, I'm a bit anxious. I've, been, I've, been, I've never done that before. Right. So, um, then I asked for prayer. Right. So, she prayed for me, which I thought was cool. That's good. And then, uh, it was, it was funny. She prayed for me, and then she said, all right, sit in your seat. Like, sit oh, you in a hot seat. Yeah, like a throne? <laughs> no. Did you get, a like, little, a Burger King crown? I had a little wooden chair set aside. Uh -huh. So, it was like, it was the, to meet the team. It was to meet myself, to meet Curry, who helps me, who was part of the, the youth team. And and my wife, my okay. wife Magda, you know, because we we have mostly girls, <laughs> mostly girls, so it's good to have a right. woman as huh, a part of the team. So um, mostly girls. Yeah. It's like the church is mostly women, <laughs> but that's for another day. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually was really, really good. It was really, it was a really good night. I was excited to know that one of the there was a family there that. That we didn't know it doesn't come to our church, and apparently, <laughs> um, they are practicing Mormons. Interesting. Very. And and they just showed up. No, they no, heard, no. They, they were they, they were invited because they have teenage kids. <laughs> so up. they came. Like I'm talking to them, like oh, thinking that oh we're trying to get this family because they have kids, you know whatever. I'm telling them a little bit about myself, and it's all good. But then um. I get an email, right? 
that tells, oh, yeah, they're practicing Mormons, whatever. They loved you, and they're going to send their kids. Oh, nice. So I was like, Oh, oh, good dude. thing, good thing, you, good cool. thing you didn't break out the Mormon jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hey, that's cool. They're gonna, they're pra- aren't all Mormons practicing Mormons though? Like, they're, they're pretty like either you either are or you aren't. I don't think. Yeah, but the deal. No I, one I, goes around saying, I'm "Yeah, almost a Mormon. I, I'm a Mormon, but I don't participate in church." <laughs> but that's the thing. I don't need. They don't, they don't go around going, "Yeah, I'm a Mormon." But I don't need a building to uh, to worship God. <laughs> I don't. I don't subscribe to the Mormon label. Sus- <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. Anyway, but you know, if, if I mean you, you, you're you're a Bible college kid, so you know that they teach you not. They as a Mormon, they teach you not to like fellowship right. with non Mormons. Right. Like you can knock on their door, ride your bike up to the door, knock on the door, right, right. pull out a couple of books from your backpack, and try to convert. Well, I, mean, I think you can have dinner. But, with, I think you can have dinner with a non-Mormon. You yeah, can't go to but, church. But you can't go to church. You can't go to church. So yeah. that's that's the big deal because they're sending their kids to church. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I don't. That cough. <laughs> of course they heard it. Well, I mean, I thought I thought that was pretty dope. I still think that's pretty dope. So yeah, just you know, keep that in prayer because that that would be amazing. That would be amazing if they do actually send them and and keep sending them, right? Right, right. Well, that's awesome. I mean, so, all right, good. So the, the meet and greet didn't get you to uh, turn in your letter of resignation. Son, you want to you wanna laugh? Okay. I'm so, always ready to laugh. You know, I, I, I was worried about because this is my first time as a youth pastor at a vanilla church, right? right. You, you want to hear what that, that conversation, then just listen to episode two. We, we, we touch a little deeper in episode two. But um, the funny thing is that at the meeting, like I said it, you called them a vanilla church. I called them all vanilla, and if they didn't laugh, <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna run out that door, weren't you? No. <laughs> they didn't laugh. If, Thank you. Had they not laughed, I would have. Yeah, I probably would have. Like, get, get the baby. Let's go. But like, some of them laughed, and some of them looked at me because. They didn't understand what I meant by that. <laughs> <laughs> so I got like that Scooby Doo look. <laughs> oh, what? Vanilla? So, you know, like vanilla's. Wa- uh, no. <laughs> but I, mean, I, 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 I explained it to them, right? So I told them how that that fact made me a little anxious right. because I, I I had to relearn how to be and how to right. respond and interact with. With a bunch of vanilla kids, right? Well, and 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 the fact that you're going to be with parents that actually um, are involved, they're involved. I was going to say care, but I, that's not really the right word. Yeah, yeah, they're they're kind of more involved in what their kid uh, might or might not be doing. So, but, but it's yeah. cool because I mean, we 20, 20 plus years in youth ministry, so you know, it's it wasn't like oh, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, the questions, right? And of course, I had answers because I'm not going to accept a youth pastor position without having a vision and having a plan. Right. Right. Um, but I know I texted you on this. You know, we we learned something new about the word shift and the Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I, yeah, I, that was. That was uh, so a little so bit to, of random information. So to put that into context, apparently, some somebody didn't like the word didn't like the fact that it was called the shift because they said it was um maybe like say because the, the word it had a satanic under right. so under under lining, undertones undertones so the, apparently the in the last book of the chronicles of narnia there is an evil monkey whose name is shift and right he, and he so represents- he and in the book he represents the devil Oh, okay. Yeah. Right? He represents the devil and, and all this yeah, stuff. I can, I can so, I mean, so I can see, but the thing is that. That's digging deep, though. That's like really fishing. Like really digging deep. Right? Because when, when they announced us as the new youth pastors, like I went up there, I had slides because I designed the logo. I, I right. work visually. So, you know, I designed the logo. I got the Bible verse, Romans 12, 2. I had slides showing everything. I made a t shirt that has the actual verse on it. Surrounding right, the logo, right. like I, I went real deep, 
And, right, and they went deeper. And they went even deeper. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, that's not from Narnia. I saw the movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, there's books. <laughs> that's, like, the, that's the funny thing because when I was told, yeah, so in the last book, like. Yeah, I don't think they made that movie yet. <laughs> no, they stopped at like book number three. I don't think they made that movie yet. I think they only had the first three books. I think so. there's like 20 of them. I don't know, not 20. No, seven, 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 books. seven. So it was, it was funny because even while they were telling me, I guess they, they realized like the whole fishing, <laughs> fishing trip right. that they took. So even they started laughing. Like, right. uh, but at, at least, you know. Now you learn something new. Yeah. So, but the person that said that they didn't tell you that it was no, no, it no, was no, just no. Kind of a, it was around, it was, around it was the way. just a, I guess like um like an interest an interesting factoid about the word shift. Uh, and, that is that is interesting. And Narnia. <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever see that word again the same way. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. On Sunday, this Sunday we're gonna meet. We're gonna have our our last. Well, our last part of the the series we're teaching, and um, I'm going to refer them all. I'm going to refer to all of them as a bunch of monkeys anyway. So it, it'll it'll stick. Yeah. Hey, hey, what happened to youth group today? Duh! Jay called us all a bunch of monkeys. Monkeys, and then somebody <laughs> will say, "Oh, that's like the ship." <laughs> he says, "You're all a bunch of little devils." You're all a bunch of little devils. <laughs> Yay! I mean, no, I'm not quite sure. But how yeah, it it was. That's oh, cool. I mean. It was good. Yeah, it's that's great. That's great. That's awesome. Now, for me, church, you know, church was church was fantastic. Uh, got this right. series right. we're doing. I'm so I'm going to interrupt you interrupt because me. I'm getting, you know, I visited your church, so I'm part of the the email list. Yes, and you guys are in the middle of a fast. They are. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah, because I'm. I like, should. I I know. I know. Someday I'll. The Lord will impress upon like, me not like, to eat. But hey, I love food. for the fast day eight, I'm like yes, they're doing forty days. I'm, I'm not fasting. I think it's forty days. <laughs> it's like, forty days. Uh-huh. Forty days. Yeah. Fast day eight. I'm not fasting. Yeah. It's... Please, influencers, stop forcing me to fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we're we're fasting. Uh, part of the fast is for uh, well, the church. Like I said, I'm not fasting. They're, they're fasting, but part of the fast is, you know, we we. Uh, we hope to be moving into uh, a new building. Um, that's dope. Um, I'm, you know, you know. I thought they had said February, but I don't think that's going to happen. So maybe it meant, they meant February of next year. I'm not <laughs> quite sure. But uh, we've we've got a new building. They were they're, uh, they've uh, sold they've sold sold and I put that in quotes. But they had tiles that people could uh, like um, pledge to. Okay. Uh, it was a uh, nine hundred dollars a tile, and so they're all gone. And so people have, wow. and a lot of people have like already given the money. Some, I mean, some of the testimonies were like bananas. People talking about, I, you know, I pledged, I pledged two tiles. I want to say they were 900 a piece. And it was like, I, I, you know, I said, we're going to do two tiles. And then, you know, like we didn't know how we were going to pay for it. And we get a check for, you know, 1800 bucks. And then boom, there's, boom, the, there's, there's the money. There's the money for the tiles. I mean, it's just crazy. I want to like, have one of those crazy, we a, crazy, amazing, we get a check story. amazing stories. Right. And so, but you know, there's, there's a reason I think, and and it's maybe it's, it's for another day, but it, you know, those, what, what, those stories, there's always that underlying, there's always this underlying, um, um, action of faith. Right. That. I'm honestly, I don't, I'm not there yet. Like God's really been dealing with me about it. Not to get a little too serious about that, but, um, I'm not at that level. And there's just this level of faith when it comes to, you know, like tithing and, and giving God what's his and stuff. And that, you know, that's, and that's all those where people get the new jobs and people get the more money. God just blesses, you know, blesses his, his kids. And uh, it's just amazing when I hear those stories and I'm just like, oh, Lord, I, I hear them, but I'm I'm just being a little, little hard hearted, I guess, a little hard headed. But that's 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 to judge me another day. We can just judge me, <laughs> judge me on that later. Or, nah, you know, it's, just send it's, me a it's, it's fine. You know, it's a not everyone um, grows in that the same way. Yeah, and it's and honestly, a part of me for that is is um my you know let me put it this way. My dad told me one time. He goes, "You need to hurry up and get married." And I was like, well, why do I need to hurry up and get married? He goes, well, first of all, so I can get a grandchild. 
Okay, of that course. makes sense. Of course. <laughs> he said, and second Puerto of Ricans. all, and second of all, so you can have something other to something else to focus on other than yourself. And then you realize that a lot of the stuff you like to, to buy and tinker with, this is not as important because now you've got like this other thing that's more important. And so I'm not at that important thing. I'm just that like, I want stuff for me. So, so, so what pops <laughs> is saying is that your future wife will be your new thing to tinker with, to tinker with. <laughs> I'm going to fix her. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't have that skill set, but so, yeah. So, so yeah, a lot of really cool stuff happening at the, um, at the church. I mean, with people like just, you go to God. influencers and I go to influencers, uh, Atlanta and uh, Duluth. We meet at the Cobb energy and influencers. Center. The passive influencers is He's Australian. Ashley Evans. Yes. He is. I'm not sure if he's older or younger. Russell Evans, brother. Yeah, Russell, the Planet Shakers pastor. Uh-huh. He's. I think. I think Russell's his younger brother. His younger brother. Yeah. I've met Russell. I've, I've hung out with Russell. What's funny is they look alike. Funny guy. Yeah, but Russell's heavier. But Russell's heavier. Yeah. yeah. Not not heavy as in he's fat. He got a rounder face. But he's just yeah he's a he's a bigger dude like he could be a rugby player. So I mean from down there he probably was. Yeah, <laughs> he's always talking about and it on social from down media. Under, <laughs> he yeah, probably was. You gotta, I'm gonna, you gotta meet him. The dude is funny. It's all like maybe. He, he's 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 an amazing man with you know with the Bible and teaching and preaching. But then like he's 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 a cool guy to just hang out with. Like, and he's, he's such super a, fun. And he's at such a huge church. You should reach out to him and get him. To buy us tickets and go down there to visit with him, and we can do the Overflow podcast down under. So I will tweet him right now. Let's go ahead and 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 get that get that going. <laughs> but so anyway, so so like I said, you know, it's been God's been doing some really really cool things. Um, I don't want to, and I got some really cool news the other day. Waiting for some paperwork to come in, um, for something that I've been de- you know you know messing dealing with last couple of months and and finally I got my paperwork in and hopefully this will be one of those things that I'll be able to put aside. So God has just been really God's just been doing some really, really cool stuff. And, um, you know, I can't thank him enough. You know, I think we, we're, we forget to thank God a lot of times, you know, we're always, yeah, we don't forget to ask him for things. We don't forget but... to ask what we forget to thank. So, you know, I want to acknowledge in front of eight people that are listening to us today, tomorrow, Thank you, God. You keep, you keep fluctuating. Between I, guess, the numbers. <laughs> I keep feeling like we, we keep adding. And so sometimes we keep adding, we keep losing. But so it's been, yeah, so a lot of really cool stuff. Um, like I said, next week we got some cool stuff. And uh, one of the uh, one of the things that we look uh, forward to, and I'm going to put this out there because I'm going to put some pressure on Jay right now. Uh oh. But one of the things that uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, start working on for maybe later this year is for this is our cry to head off to the city I love to hate. To New York. To New York. Um, I want to try to put a little tour together. So if you're in New York, if you're here listening to us from New York, hit us up. I want to go to New York and go speak at your church. And Jay does too. And we'll speak at the same time, two totally different messages. It'll be chaos. It'll be amazing. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I've been praying about that. Been um, putting out some feelers. And, yeah, if you're listening, you want to bring the Outcry, the Overflow podcast, you know, to, to, to New York. And uh, we can um, we want to speak at your church, maybe bring along some artists, right? Yeah. In the New York area. I mean, because. And the only thing I ask for. What? It's pizza. I, I asked no. The only thing That's I me. asked for is is that when I show up, you have a bag of White Castle. White Castle. And I didn't really like them the first time I tried them, and I really talked bad about them. But but we've been talking about these for the last couple of weeks, so now I have like this craving. Oh, the Zeppelin for the Zeppelin. <laughs> so I will go to New York. Right, we'll work the how to get there and everything. All you got to pay me is a sack of White Castle. And a bag of Zeppelis. And a bag of Zeppelis. All right. So, Tim, he son. 
If if you're listening to this, you guys are listening to this. That's for you. Or or anyone else or uh, Ray, if you're list right, Ray, Pastor Ray, is he Pastor Ray? I don't even know. I don't know either. You call him your spiritual dad, right? Yeah. So so dad, spir- spiritual dad, Dre, Dre, <laughs> and all of my New Yorkers. All I'm saying, White Castle. Zeppelis. Zippity doo dahs. <laughs> and I'll be and I will go and I will talk forever. I will preach forever if that's what you want. I don't care. All right, so let's talk. Um let's jump right in. So with that being said, <laughs> so with that being said, let's jump right in. It was um an interesting week on the interwebs. Right. And um we hmm, we're not gonna get too deep into it because right. <clears throat> like we can't repeat what's already been said, right? right? And I don't want us to just keep beating a dead horse, okay? Because because it's already dead. Yeah, it's so it's dead and whatever. Let's just keep it going. But we, we um, so right. hey, so here's what I do. I'll I'll set it up kind of in right, a very it, in a very yeah. in a very kind of <laughs> general sense. So, uh, for those of you that are listening to us, um, those of you that know us. You know, we are into, you know, we're into music. We love music. And one of the musical styles that we're into is hip hop. We, you know, we love, you know, we like rap music, hip hop music, uh, and very specifically Christian hip hop music. Um, so this week, um, uh, this is this week, there was two, two artists uh, that uh, for one reason or another uh, stepped away from the faith. Correct. And, uh, what what kind of the reason there was a lot of talk about that was because these were two artists in the span of two. This is these were the so this this made a total of three artists that walked away from the faith like in the span of two months. Correct. Uh, one guy was uh, uh, much much more well known, I would say, uh, in the Christian hip hop community, and he just flat out just said you know rejected everything that he had. Uh, uh, proclaimed before and was like, you know, you know, God doesn't exist. It's all about the sun. And I'm just some weird, just, yeah, some just, kind of weird Egyptian, you know, raw sun, sun God stuff. And then <clears throat> the other two cats earlier this week, one guy just kind of said, you know what? It's all about love and walked away. And uh, the other guy basically said, Hey, I just want to sin. I want to do my thing. I don't really care. I know Jesus is God, but I want to do my thing. And so, he just walked away. Yeah, you can, and you can appreciate the honesty. And you can appreciate the honesty. So it's not so much. So we want to kind of hit on. It's not so much the fact that those guys walked away, or even why they walked away, because, like we said, um, that stuff was was done to death in, in the hip hop Christian hip hop forums on on Facebook, on, uh, on all, all social media, social media, Twitter, websites, and all that stuff. whatever. But what we found interesting was the reactions to, excuse me, these guys that walked away. Because the reactions, the reactions kind of hit this gamut where some people were like, hey, you know, if that's, that's how they believe, that's fine. To, oh, that's, uh, that stinks. To, oh my goodness, I can't believe those people left. How dare they reject the Jesus Christ and the gospel? You know, and, you know, so there was just, there was a lot of anger. Really, there was the majority of the feeling, right? Or the majority of the vibe in, in a lot of, a lot of what, uh, a lot of how it was reacted or how people reacted. Excuse me. So me and Jay, <laughs> excuse me, me and Jay talking about that. We're like, you know. What should be the reaction that we have when someone that we know or someone that we love says, I'm walking away. I'm walking away from Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, <clears throat> I'm walking away from faith. Hey, that's fine if that's what you want to believe. You know, how do we react? What should our reaction be to someone that walks away. And so that's kind of what we're going to touch on a little bit. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to let Jay kind of unpack that idea. So Jay, 
what so how do we Jay, so how do you think how do you think we should react when someone says I'm walking away? Well that's that's the thing, right? <coughs> Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> Chino Life is texting me and interrupting the podcast. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just got something in my throat. Go so, um drink your surge. <laughs> right, so this is the thing, you. right? The thing is that it happened in the Christian hip hop community. Okay. And, you know, we, like you said, we're fans, right? We love, we love some, some, some hip hop, right? Basically because of our age, <laughs> right? And where, well, you know, me, where I'm from, the age, whatever. But like me personally, like I, I know a lot of these artists personally, right? Right. Call them friends, you know, doing events and working creation festival. You know, this is what we do. This is what I do. So it's funny to me. I always find it because because the thing is that I I we we do events also with um with Juice with with the third guy, the third the third partner of This Is Our Cry. Um, we do events and but normally Juice is the one that that um that has these relationships with the artists. I, I like to just do things in the background, set things up. Juice is more the personality, you know. So it was it was funny to me how when each person made their announcement or an announcement was made for them, because right. for one of them, an announcement was made for them, you know, I found it funny that people would contact me. Hey, Jay, look what happened. What do you think of this? And, right. and, and I'll tell you sincerely that with every time that it happened, like my heart hurt. Like right. it, like the the news hurt my heart because regardless, these guys were believers. They were part of the fold. They were my brothers. Right. They were all of our brothers. So right. your heart should hurt when someone who is a brother steps away from the faith. Right. Right. One of them denouncing Christ completely. You know that 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 hurts even more because you have that that split where he was like one of the uh, a loudspeaker, let's say, for lack of a better word, for for Jesus and for Christianity and for and for the kingdom, and now he just did a complete right. Then all, right. Then complete all of a sudden, turn. all of a sudden, you're like, you know, they're like, well, I know I I know I said this for the last five years or ten years, but I no longer believe it. I'm out. It's, all it's like, whoa, uh, whoa, what happened, you know, all yeah. this time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the, the, the deal is, the deal is this, right? And um, Juice always bothers me about this. Well, he doesn't bother me. He always brings it up how I respond and I react and I see everything through the eyes of a pastor, right? It's, right. So, and it's, and I'm not going to lie. It's true. That's how I see it. That's how I see it. So, I think about the reaction, right? The reaction, because these guys were artists and to a lot of the fan, their fans, they were their favorite artists. Right. And you can go back through social media, which is what I did and see how before this all happened, Oh, I love your music. Right. Oh man. Can you please listen to my music? Tell me what you think. I'm going to keep pushing for the Lord. Or whatever, And then, they make their announcement or it's known that they've either stepped away from the faith or they did a complete U-turn and, um, and the responses like flipped. Right. right? So then oh it goes from, God. I loved your music to, so, I can't believe you're not, I can't believe you don't do this. I can't believe the right. things you're saying. Oh, you were never a Christian. You never knew love, you know, and, and right. all this. And, and that, that's that's what I want to address, yeah, at right? At least, at least, though, I mean, and, and you know, the, the reactions are obviously wrong, but at, at least they put <laughs> it out there. You know, when it's somebody in the local church, you know, no one ten, no one says nothing to their face, right? They just say whatever. They walk out the no, door. But this is the this is the <laughs> this is the time of social media, so we have a lot of passive aggressive <laughs> tweets or posts. That's right. I'm passive aggressive pictures. to your face, <laughs> right? So so that's the thing. That's the thing, right? If we are Christians and, and for the most part, I can, I'll be bold enough to, to generalize and say that 
only Christians really listen to Christian hip hop. Right. For mostly. For, right. Right. I mean, mostly. I mean, yeah, there are people who aren't believers who listen because they like the message or whatever, but for the most part, the majority of people who listen to Christian hip hop are Christians. Are Christian people. Right? So if you're a Christian, then you know that Jesus said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Ooh, he did say that. Right. Did right. Say that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's just one of the red, <laughs> part of the red letters. <laughs> right. Let me flipping the pages. <laughs> right. There it is. Yeah, Mark 12. Mark chapter 12, open up your Bibles, please, my brothers and sisters. Mark chapter 12, 30 and 31 says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So when, because regardless, they're artists, right? right. But they're also people, right. right? They're also struggling through their faith walk the way we do. Right. They also have sinned and fallen short of they, God's they're glory. they're not struggling. That's why they walked away. Right. Right. They, <laughs> they just quit the struggle, right? I said, I am done struggling. <laughs> the struggle is real, so I quit, right? We've all, fall, we've all fallen short, right. right? We all have things that we deal with before God and we deal with before each other. So and why the response? Why the reaction of pure condemnation or just that anger rather than... You know, coming from a place of love, ah. right? Because let's say that they weren't Why artists, indeed. right? Let's say that they weren't artists, right? It was a kid that goes to church with you and that you hung out with and whatever. And he came and he told you, you know what? I'm not believing in this Jesus stuff anymore. You know, I don't think that it's real anymore. I mean, would you turn around and like mush him or push him away from you and say, oh, I can't believe you lied for 20 years and now you're going to come up, you've been going to church and right. you've been preaching and now you're telling me you don't believe in Jesus anymore. Right. You suck. I'm going to throw away all your messages. I'm going to burn your Bible, not mine because I'm still here, right. you know, right. and I'm going to tell everybody in church not to talk to you anymore. I'm going to tell your family to reject you and to I, cast you aside. What churches right? have you been going to? Cause <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never experienced that. No, no, I'm not saying, I'm just saying like, that's like you, you read the comments, you read the, the, right, the, right. the reactions. And that's not love, man. Right? That that's not no. I that I, is, I wouldn't think it's I wouldn't feel love. I, I'm bold enough to say that that's not how Jesus will react. Right? Because I mean, how many times I mean <laughs> how many times have we even if it's not something permanent or something that didn't last right. months, but we sin daily. So we sin daily, we die daily. Right. right. So imagine that one sin, it doesn't matter what it is, one of the commandments, you said a lie, you know, you called in sick to work because well, you didn't I mean, want to go to work. Yeah, right? was, it's still a lie. Well, right. To, bring, well, to, to kind of give it, you know, an example that we can all, you know, uh, know, if, especially if you grew up in church. I mean, uh, Peter lied three times, three den times, denied Jesus three times, not just like, you know, no, he, I don't know that dude. I don't know that dude. And yet Jesus still was like, Hey man, do you love me? Like, like, you know, he, you know, it's like, like just asking him like, Hey man, I still forgive you. You love me. Um, Peter, Peter was, I think that's why we all relate to Peter so well. Right. Cause <laughs> Peter was always just messing up. Right. I mean, Peter stepped out the boat. He's the one that began to sink. And what did Jesus say? You know, Jesus didn't say, ah, you took your eyes off of me. Yeah, yeah, you I'm going to let you, you drown. Stink. I'm going to let you drown a little bit. No, you know, then I'll bring you back to life. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just like. Because I'm Jesus. Yeah, he was like, right. He was like, hey, man. I'll, I'll, but you're right. It's it's the reactions that we have. Um, and not just in this, but you know, like, like you were saying, not with the music thing, but yeah, with anyone. With anyone. Whether it's someone, you know, we get that phone call and it's like, hey, you know, so-and-so doesn't come to church anymore and they're just like oh, i don't need that anymore right and we're just like whoa why and and i think that a lot of times the the way we react is based on fear it's based on our fear of how if this especially especially if it's a person that you know that walked with god for many years mm -hmm. and if you're like wow they gave in to their doubt and then quit. What does that say about me? Am right. I going to give into that, into that doubt? Am I going to give into that fear? You know, a growing up, 
uh, you know, I remember when I was in college, especially, you know, cause you know, when I went to college and I started meeting other kinds of Christians and, and then things started getting questioned about the church and, and why does the church does this and not do that and this, that, or the other. Yeah. You know, those are those moments where you're just like, man, should I just give it up? Right. I just walk away. And, and a lot of people do. And, yeah. And a lot of people do. But but how do we react to them when they say, I don't want to be a Christian? Anymore? Dude, man, it's it's real simple. It's real simple. If, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dope song, but no. Don't do that. You know, it's, it's, you would react, you would have to react to them the way you would want them or anyone to react to you. Right? Right. And that's with love. Matt, because if I am hurting, right, and I feel that my only way to stop hurting is to stop going to church, step away from the faith, because I am associating my hurt or my doubt or anything with the faith, and then someone who is also a believer comes and rejects me or puts me on blast and gets right. angry with the fact that I'm sharing this with them, that is not something that's going to make me want to turn around and come back or right. even, it's much less stay. Right. Right. Because I'm already struggling with something. And now you who are also a believer, you're going to come out and you're going to attack me. So you're going to solidify what I feel against the church. Right. Right. And all you're doing is, is, is just helping me being pushed out even further and not want to turn around and come back. Well, and especially right. If you're talking about, you know, hey, you know, we, we talk a lot about church, about, oh, you know, God loves you. God loves you. You know, we, we quote scripture, lo, you know, love the Lord your God, love your neighbor, love yourself. Mm -hmm. And then we don't react that way. So the, so the person is like, well, if you're supposed to believe in love, why are you being so mean to me or so mm -hmm. antagonistic? And then, like I said, and I'm, I'm going to bring it back. Bring I, it back. I think it. It's because I think part of that is we have a fear that if that person can walk away, then I can walk away. And I think we're, we're, I think there's this, this weird tension, this weird, you know, um, thing that goes on in our minds, especially if, you know, because we all, we've all struggled, we've all had doubts, but we maintain the course. Right. Or we stepped away, but we felt the calling and the drawing of, of the Holy Spirit back. But sometimes we still have those doubts and those fears. And um, 1 John uh, 4, I think, um, is a great, I think it's an encourager for us to view um, our faith and to view fear. Now, you know, we know in Timothy, um, you know, Paul writes that we're not given, right? We're not a given a spirit of fear. And like, that's great. And that's like, yes, uh, but I still feel fear. Well, the, the kind of the, we're not given the spirit of fear, but of power. Right. But I think the other, the other end of that, the other kind of side of that is in John, where he says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear for fear has to do with punishment. And whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Be, uh, we love because he first loved us. us. And I think that, we have to, if, if, you know, when we see people walk away, I think there, there's two things, right? We, we need to love them <clears throat> like God has loved us. Like the, the love that God is perfecting in love in us is the same love we need to be sharing as we should be pushing out towards those that are, those that are walking away. We don't cut them off. Um, but we, you know, we show them that mercy and that grace even if they don't believe in it, right? Even if they say like, oh, I don't believe in that right now. Um, yeah, even if they don't believe in it, because they don't believe in it doesn't mean that you stop showing them grace. Doesn't mean that you stop right. showing them God's love. Because, and, 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 and this is how I always tend to think of things and, and the, the perspective that I always try to give things, right? right? If, if I step away Right. Even if, if it's for a few seconds because I sin, like our father, God does not turn away from me and reject me for those few seconds. Right. Because right? that's 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 what grace is. Right. He comes and he's gracious and he accepts us and he 
forgives us and we get a clean slate. We start over, but he doesn't stop loving us. Like he never stops loving us. Right. You know, the prodigal son left, right. returned, was forgiven. They threw a party, yep. got, got his and name it's like back. In my, yeah, and in that story in my mind, right, you, you're kind of, in your in your mind, you kind of, every day the father at, like, let's say 5 p.m., right, every day he goes and he stands and he looks down the road. Right. And that's kind of like, right, how God, you know, every day at 5 p.m., I don't know why 5 p.m., but, <laughs> you know, every day he looks down the road for us to, for us to come, you know, not, not to punish us because... There's no punishment in fear. Correct. And there's I mean, no, there's there's no, no punishment, punishment in, in love, love, right? Um, but he, he wants to perfect that love in us. He wants to keep working that out in us. I think that's a beautiful thing. And I think that that's how we need to, and I believe, I believe that's how we need to react. Of course. In all, in all things, in all things, we are called to love one another, right? right. We are called to love one another and to love as God loves. And to quote again, to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Because the last thing that we would want if we confess or we announce that we're struggling with our faith, the last thing that we would want is for people to lash out at us. Right. Because that's not love. Right. That's not love. So when it comes to these artists, remember that before they're artists, they're people. They're people who sin daily. Right. They're people who 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 struggle with whatever it is they're well, any, struggling. Anyone, with. not even not artists, right? just anyone. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Any, but we're we're, we're, we're talking. We it, it was these artists that brought up these thoughts in my head. So and, and 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 the backlash, right? So it's not there shouldn't be any there shouldn't be any backlash, right? Ideally, there should not right. be any backlash. There should not be any anger, animosity towards anyone who steps away from the faith. Right? right. If anything, there should be a yearning to 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 for them to return, for right. them to come back to the love of Christ. And, and 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 what our job should be is to continue to pray for them. Right. 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 Continue to ask God to reach out to them. Right. Pray for the repentance. Pray for the return before it's too late. Because hell is real and hell is hot. Right. Right. And and. And the last thing we would want is, especially if we're all a family in Christ, right? We're all brothers and sisters in Christ. Right. That we don't want for anyone to be lost. Right. Yes, there's free will, and they have to decide. But we don't need to help push them away. Right. Right. So, on on you know on that to 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 continue the or I want you to continue reading it. Continue <laughs> yes, reading what? Um, First John. Four, it says, uh, 20 if and anyone, so verse 20 says, if anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brother. Dude. And yeah, and that's the and that's the interesting thing, right? When it comes to people that step away, because especially if you had if you had a a relationship of let's say a minimum of a year where you kind of learned about the person and you were like, yeah, that's my brother. And then all of a sudden they walk away and it's like, <clears throat> you know what? You're going to hate him. He's no longer your brother. Like he, you, like you're no longer related at all. Like, right. you know, and whether, whether it's, you know, it's the example would be, you know, if, if you have a family member and they just, they're just kind of like bump it. I'm like, Doing my own thing. I'm not. Yeah, I gotta contact, focus on me. I'm not gonna contact the family. Focus on I'm not my gonna life. talk to them. Whatever. I mean, that person doesn't stop being your brother. Now you might be angry at them, but, but when you see them, right? I hope, right? The hope is that you would just be like, "Oh, I'm so happy to see you." You know, let's get some coffee. You know, and yeah. That, and that exactly. should be that should be the reaction. The, the thing is that the thing is that step away or that maybe get lost, or you know, just uh, dealing doubts. with their doubts or with their fears or whatever it is, right? I, that. And and ideally, ideally, you would want that if anyone were to step away from the faith, yeah, everyone who's connected with them or to them in whatever form or fashion, because now with social media, we know intimate things about right. people, right? We right. we know when everybody's birthday is, right? right? Even if we don't know their kids, you know, you post up, oh, I'm celebrating my third niece's cousin's birthday today, whatever. Right. Say happy birthday. And At like the skating rink. 80 people say happy birthday and they don't even know who, who they're saying happy birthday to. Right. It'd be a complete lie, right? But they'll do it anyway. So my, my 
my wish or my desire is so that is to that is that when this happens, whether it be an artist that you're a fan of or a family member or just someone in the church that you go to, you don't know them, but you know, they go to church with you and you right. hear that something happened and they stepped away. That is, is that you get down and you pray for them and you pray for their return. You pray for their repentance so that they can return to the fold. Right. <laughs> Christian ease. Right. So they can return to the kingdom. Right. And, and, and so that God can reach out to them and touch their hearts and, and they can repent and, and, and be back among the brethren. Right. Right. Because that's, that's, that's what God wants. Right. That, that's, that's what it is to be Christ-like. You know, you will know them by their love for one another. Did you read that already? Uh, no, I don't think we, I don't think we hit that verse, <laughs> but you just did. Yeah. Well, I just did. Right? So yeah. And, 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 and to show them, you know, and, and to show them love and not, you know, uh, not go to them with an agenda of I'm going to, I'm going to win you back for the Lord, but with, Hey man, let's get some coffee. Let's hang out. Let's, you know, uh, one of the greatest compliments I ever received was I was hanging out with this kid, wasn't a believer. Uh, and he knew I was right. And, uh, and we were hanging out, we were at like <clears throat> hanging around the mall, goofing around or whatever. And he's, he, uh, we're walking back to the car and he's like, man, I love hanging out with you. You're not like those other Christians, you know? And to me, that was like the greatest compliment I ev I've ever received because he saw, you know, he saw the Christ in me. Right. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was allowing him to be him and I wasn't spending, you know, and I, and you know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't uh, just spending time with him because I had some kind of agenda. You know, did we talk about the Lord maybe later on? Yes, we did. Because that's the thing, right? Whether but, they're believers or not, they know that you're a believer. They're going to ask questions, you know, because it's 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 almost like it's confusing to them that you're a Christian and you're hanging out with them. Right. And you're not and, and I think, judging. And, you're not condemning. And I think everybody else that was a Christian, because uh, I met him where I was working at, everybody that was a Christian at work was always trying to invite him to come to church. and was, hey, you should come hang out with us at church. You should come hang out with us at church. And I was like, Hey, let's go to the mall and hang out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wasn't trying to like, you know, ulterior motive. You know, I wasn't at the mall going, Hey, let's get, you know, some slushies. And do you want to go to church? You know, it was just, <laughs> you know, and yeah, I, let's take a walk and walk into the church. Yeah. The you know, it was just kind of, and, and I can't remember, I don't even remember maybe at the end of the night, I might've been like, Hey man, it was a lot of fun. You know, Hey bro, you know, you know, you're always welcome to come right. visit us whenever you're ready. I mean, I might've, might've said something along those lines. So, I, I mean, I don't remember so long ago. But, but Batman just fell. But um, I just I just showed him that I cared, you know. And and at the end of the day, that's all we can do. And I think that as as believers, when it comes to when it comes to people that, that walk away, step away. I mean, I, I have family members that have I have family members that have walked away. That's what, that's what, uh, right. Of course, so have I. And who, who who doesn't? But but the thing is 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 that. <clears throat> the reaction is sometimes, oh, oh, how can you not go to church anymore? Oh, I, that's not how you were raised. And, you know, that doesn't do anything. All that does is just, it just makes the resolve stronger. Yeah, dude. To, we're, to, we're, not, to not come back. We're all people. We're but all trying to figure this out. Hey, let's hang out. Let's go mm -hmm. eat. You know, and then maybe in the midst of that, you can, you can throw some, some seed in there. Um, or just, just, just live. You know, Live a Christ-like life in front of them. Yeah, and, you know, and, and be Saint, transparent. You what know, is it? Saint Francis of honest. Assisi, preach the gospel, but when necessary, use words. Right, right. So, just like and Paul said, you know, just just by your testimony, by your life, you can right. bring people over, you know, to know Christ. Right. That the thing is that to be God, not to be God. To me, God expects us, and He commands us to love one another. Right. Right. The word teaches that God is love, right? So if you proclaim that you're a believer in Christ, right? And then this whole thing, oh, I'm not about religion. I'm about relationship, right? Your relationship with people, with the lost, with the found, and with those that leave the faith, right, right is a reflection of your relationship with God. Yes. Right? So, you know, there are some times that we feel that God is far away. We don't reject him or... 
you know, shake our fists at him and, right. and blast him out, right? You know, we stay there and we pray and we go in for that longing right. for deeper relationship. Right. So, so, yeah. so if it's about relationship, then you should be showing people your relationship with God. Right, exactly. <laughs> Instead of, you know, well, I'm, I'm their friend. Well, that's fine, but that's not the, that's not the important relationship, right? The, then, the important relationship is showing people, showing people the relationship you have with, with the God. Father. And how do you show that relationship? He loves us, right? So, so that we, we can them. love, so we can love those uh, next to us. I, I think that another issue that um, that causes this also is we're so self focused, right. right? When I say that, you know, I mean that. Oh, but I'm trying to do my thing, and I'm I'm walking my walk, my and I'm walk, I'm yeah. I'm living my life, and I'm trying to keep myself, you know, focused on God and in the kingdom. Right. I don't have time to be there for everybody and everything or whatever, right? You know, but <laughs> it's like, and I, and to I, be to be real cheesy, right? Like, what would Jesus do? Oh, uh, well, you're not growing, right? What What would Jesus do? Right, right. I mean, the very fact that we serve God and we and and, and we and we are Christ like is because. He sacrificed himself right. for, for us. Right? right. He wasn't about himself on the throne, chilling, you know. He sacrificed his throne, he sacrificed his life. He died for us. Right? So he wasn't about me, he was about you. He was about us. Right. right? And and if we say that, you know, we, we, we we're trying to be like Christ, you know, we have to reflect Christ in everything that we do. That's part of reflecting Christ in everything that you do. Not lashing out at the brother who stepped away, but rather praying for him and reaching reaching out to him in love. Right. Because right? not everybody that Jesus came across, you know, were good people, were sinless, or 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 believed in him. Right. right. His, his very people rejected him. Well, not just that, but I mean, not everyone, even not everyone he healed. Right. Like uh, the lepers. The lepers. That's true. Right. Only one came Only back. Only one came back. But he didn't go, well, since so, so I think it was a four, right? five of them. So it was like, well, or three, however many it was. I can't remember off the top of my head. But he wasn't like, well, the other ones didn't come back. So How dare they? They had ah, leprosy. Get leprosy again. You know, Ten times worse you know, than what it was. The lockouts and blah, 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 body parts just start falling <laughs> apart. Falling and off. fingers start falling off. Right. So, but, you know, so, so Jesus, you know, you know, Jesus displayed that for us. Even in the story of the lepers, one of them came back, but he healed all of them. Correct. And that should be our, that should be our mindset. Um, when it comes to our fellow brothers and sisters, right? So, so that that's that's the stance, right? That's that's where that's where we're taking this, right? Did it happen? It happened. Is it something that should surprise us? No, no, it shouldn't surprise us. It's not something new, right? Right. And it's not just in Christian hip hop and contemporary music, rock, country, whatever, whatever right. it is. Church life, you know, everything. Yeah, church life, people. People step away. walk away. They walk away from the faith. They step away for whatever reason. Yep. The thing that we must be aware of is our response to that. Do right. we respond as Christ would respond, which is in love, or do we respond from a place of pride and fear, which is rejection and anger and condemnation? Like condemnation. Yeah. Right. So. So. Let's. Um, I, let's. let's Let's, so let's keep this kind of open. And when I say that, I mean like, um, you know, we're going to post this up tomorrow. Yes. So I want to post it up tomorrow and the seven people that listen to this, you know, leave a comment and tell us, tell us how you think or how would you respond? So let us know. Right? Yeah. Just, let like, us just know. share with us. And, 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 that man's getting real preachy right now. But, you know, if you need, like, if you see that and what we saying, what we what we said, and the verses of the Bible and things of this nature, if, if they spoke into your heart or spoken to your life, you know, then dude, don't, don't even, oh, my God, no, I needed that word. I mean, yeah, reading those comments is awesome. But I would rather you hear this. And if the Holy Spirit stirs something in your heart yes. about how you've reacted to anything or anyone, that, that you just repent, right? right? You don't have to write that down though, don't, in the yeah, comments. Don't, 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 just... write, down, write down that it spoke to you um, and that it maybe it led you to repentance, and that's all we need and to know. And that's it, right? But repent, 
you know, and and pay it forward, right? Move it, just keep it moving. Repent and check your response, check your reaction whenever this happens again, whether it's by something you've read or someone you know or someone you've heard of. Yes. So with that being said, um, yeah, how do we react? We react in love. Um, and that's in, in, in when we hear people leave, um, I think in all facets of, of our faith, we react in love. And that's, that's what we should do. Always. And okay. the, 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 the Bible verse is John thirteen thirty five. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So, ladies and gentlemen, we challenge you, we encourage you, we implore you, we stand by you, stand all by those you, youth. <laughs> around you, all those, all those different things. Um, let us all, and when this is for me and J2, you know, let's, let's react in love to people, um, even when, or even if they act all kinds of crazy. So with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Right now, my name is Joaquin. And I'm Jay. And this is the Overflow Podcast at thisisoutcry.com. Oh, and the site is up in case. The site is up. <laughs> in case, and if in case looked, you didn't know. didn't know, the site is up. And we look forward to uh, meeting, talking, dialoguing, and commenting 